Hey everybody, this is lecture 3 for subsea pipeline design. So for subsea pipelines, they have to be analyzed for various conditions, various scenarios such as installation, testing, and operation to make, and then the stresses for each one have to be checked in each scenario. So, so those pipeline stresses have to be acceptable in accordance with code requirements and client, requ client requirements. Some of the analysis, analyses that are performed to verify that the stresses experienced are acceptable include the hoop stress, longitudinal stress, equivalent stress, uh, performing the span analysis and checking VIV, stability analysis, expansion analysis, buckling analysis, and crossing analysis. So the most basic, uh, the most basic thing uh, that's first checked for subsea pipelines is, is the hoop stress. And the formula for hoop stress is equal to the internal pressure minus the external pressure times the OD divided by two times the wall thickness. So this is internal pressure. And P sub E is the external pressure. External pressure. And this is the OD of the pipeline. And T is the wall thickness. So in more simpler terms, this can be written as delta P times D divided by 2T. So here is just a figure of a subsea pipeline, just a cross-sectional view. And you can see the internal pressure is over here and the external pressure due to the seawater um, uh, due to the seawater and then we have the wall thickness and then we have the uh, overall OD so the depending on which code or standard th that is being used on the project the hoop stress should not exceed a certain fraction of the specified minimum yield stress minimum yield stress the SMIs as they call it SMIs specified minimum yield stress okay uh, after looking at hoop stress we move on to longitudinal stress and so the longitudinal stress is the axial stress that the that the subsea pipeline wall experiences and it consists of stresses due to the bending stress, the hoop stress, the thermal stress, and the end cap force induced stress. And here is a formula for the longitudinal stress. So, so we have 0 0.3 times, uh, times sigma, and this is the hoop stress. Hoop plus the sigma LB, which is the bending, plus the thermal stress, thermal, plus the end cap effect, end cap induced force, end cap. And just to make sure, uh, be careful when using this formula to ensure that the proper sign convention is used and usually uh, in most scenarios tensile stress is positive so once uh, after longitudinal stress we can take a look at equivalent uh, stress so combined stress uh, varies depending on the type of code or standard that you're using on the project but equivalent stress is usually expressed in the following formula and it's the square root and it consists of the hoop stress, the longitudinal stress, and the tangential sh shear stress. So we have the hoop stress squared. This is hoop. And this is longitudinal. We square that. And then we multiply the hoop and the longitudinal over here. Plus three times the tangential shear stress squared. This is tangential. shear stress and so we take the sum of this uh, this of the hoop stress longitudinal and subtract the, the product 
and then add three times the shear stress squared and take the square root of that and this will give us the equivalent stress. And this is the end of exam uh, lecture number three for subsea pipelines. Thanks.